Hi, I'm Daryl, co-founder and developer of the Creo Engine ecosystem. Today, we have a lot of exciting things to talk about for your consideration, and I'm very glad to be here to do so. And thank you, everyone, for your time. We aim to be an all-in-one blockchain gaming platform featuring a massive library of GameFi products that are all interconnected with one another and for all to enjoy. All this is governed under one token, the Creo token. Of course, to do this, we funded our own in-house studio, Nomina Games, which I'm also in charge of. Here at Nomina Games, our staff members have decades of experiences combined and have worked in high-end conventional studios all across the country. We are 40 people strong, and this means we have the ability to create and innovate whatever we please. To get started, of course, we are creating four very distinct games and our own in-house platform to facilitate those games. Our first game is Evermore Nights, which is a JRPG turn-based action RPG. Our second game is Slime Haven, which is a pet simulator game. Our third game is Merchant Marvels, which is a crafting game. And our fourth game is Peony Ranch, which is a 3D farming simulator game. All these games are very distinct from each other, but here's the kicker. All of these products are all interconnected. Now you might be wondering, are we really just stopping at four games? And the answer is no, we won't. As our user base continues to grow, we will continue to make in-house products for everyone to enjoy. And we are very much keen on recruiting more developers over to our side to continue to better our innovations and our creations. Our first game is called Evermore Nights, a Japanese role-playing strategy game, which features two types of NFTs, heroes and weapons. Both these NFTs are unique in combination as well in attributes. We also feature a unique marketplace where players are able to post their items, skill cards, or anything of the sort to trade with individual players in this game. This game also has the ability to combine your heroes with other heroes to create stronger and more viable units for your adventure. We also have PvP, which involves players fighting other players to earn income and, of course, points. We also have skill cards, which enables you to customize your party to a greater degree. Of course, this game also has a Squire program, which is basically a scholarship program to facilitate players better in their adventure. Our second game is a pet racing simulator called Slime Haven. This involves players breeding countless slimes to create some various and adorable combinations of their slime companions. You could use these slimes to battle monsters or to battle other players in battle to earn more income each day. This game also has a marketplace where players can post their slimes and their offsprings to earn additional income as well. Our major unique selling point is our platform's core ability to interoperate Game 5 products, allowing them to send NFT assets or items in between each other. With this, we hope to create a mini ecosystem with three of our games by the end of 2022. Afterwards, we are keen on inviting developers all across Asia and the world to interoperate, or in other words, join our platform and become part of the Creo Engine ecosystem. Next, let's talk about universal assets, with one of them being called Creonia, a massive land bank minted below our platform. This land bank features varieties of land types which players can buy and utilize across all of the games below our platform. Players are also able to share one plot of land with other players. This idea stems from the fact that a symbiotic relationship between players is essential to preserving token integrity and token price. Our marketplace is also designed to work where an item, though minuscule, could be shown to have 10 or more different uses throughout multiple games below the platform. Transactions and trades and transfers are fast, secure, and most importantly, convenient. With our platform infrastructures, we can definitely utilize GameFi, not just as entertainment, but as a business medium with player profiles displaying net worth, assets, gameplay, achievements, and more, we definitely want players to feel validated by the games they play and by the assets they own. 
This is also key in safeguarding our token integrity and our token demand. We are definitely keen in creating a large and beneficial demand for our token. Speaking of benefits, let's go over utilities. Once again, everything in the platform is utilizing one governance token, the Creo token. And with that, the demand for the token will be pretty evident as more games get added onto the library. Holders of the token may also be entitled to earning NFT rewards or early access to new games. Should the platform generate revenue, we are also very much keen on one day incubating projects from Indonesia. We hope this presentation has given you a glimpse of what we are and what we can do. For more information, please do not hesitate to ask us any questions. Once again, thank you kindly for your time and have a great day.